Hey, this is Kenneth with a quick little proof of concept project. What we have is we have two breadboarded MSP430 G2 processors. I programmed them on my handy little launch pad. And this is a proof of concept as to infrared serial transmission. So on the right here we have an MSP430 with two, an up, up button or down button, seven segment display and a little infrared LED. Uh, as I tell it to change numbers, it goes up. And then serially every second it transmits uh, whatever number it has over the infrared. On the left we have a little uh, 38 kilohertz infrared uh, receiver which has an open collector output which it then feeds down into this MSP430 which then decodes that serial transmission and updates its own state to be the same as the other. Uh, when the decimal point over here blinks it's transmitting. When this one blinks it says that it's receiving. Uh, the protocol it's using is very similar to uh, s standard serial as it has a negative, has a zero start bit and then it uh, sh shifts it in. Um, kind of the, the modulation scheme that it uses is just a continuous wave, uh, 38 kilohertz, and so when it's transmitting a, a zero, it's, it transmits 38 kilohertz through the infrared LED, and when it's transmitting a one, it transmits nothing. Uh, the left one has a timer on it so that if uh, the transmitter goes away uh, after about two seconds it goes to an error state because it hasn't gotten an update and so it knows it's invalid. If we put the LED back in uh, it'll update it and goes back to whatever mode. Um, I'm, I'm only running a few, few milliamps to the infrared LED and that's getting me a pretty good range. Is it, it'll cover about the whole room. Uh, I'm getting about 512 baud right now. Uh, I can probably kick that up to about 2 kilobaud, but that's about it. As the uh, receiver is kind of the rate limiting thing, is it's got about 200 microsecond delay uh, with decoding. Uh, but it's a good little proof of concept, and I'll keep you guys updated. Alright, now we've moved over to my oscilloscope to kind of give you a better idea of what's really going on in the transmission. On the top we have what's being outputted by the first MSP430 to the infrared LED. And on the bottom we have what's being outputted by the infrared receiver to the second MSP430. As you see, uh, it's a continuous wave modulation, which means that the infrared LED is turned on and off at 38 kilohertz, which then causes the infra uh, infrared receiver to output a zero. Now if we change the state, you'll see that it stops uh, modulating it for one of the bits and the output of the infrared receiver then goes positive. Uh, this is a standard, uh, well a close to standard serial frame in that it has a start bit, four bits of information, and then a stop bit. Standard serial would have a positive stop bit, but I just decided to make it negative as well. So right now we have four because it's eight, four, two, one, standard binary is most significant bit first, and so four, that's five, six, seven, and that's eight. Uh, it, it's a little slow in updating the display because this is like a 30 year old oscilloscope, but I hope that that, that kind of gives you an idea of what's going on.